A special run to the ODAC semifinals for the Roanoke College volleyball team. And at the heart of that first trip to the conference final four since 2009, our own Mackenzie Tyree, the first in 10 and Fox First Friday football reporter, has been pulling double duty the entire fall. Jonathan Merriman has more in this week's Chantel home team. Dual sport athletes aren't that uncommon, but an athlete who plays one sport and at the same time covers another, well, that's rare. Mackenzie Tyree, she does just that. She's a captain on the Rono College volleyball team and also reports high school football for Fox and WSLS. I met with my coach before the season started just to kind of let her know what was going on, what I was thinking about doing because it was a big opportunity and I didn't want to pass it up, but at the same time I did want to play on the team my senior year. And like I said, she was so supportive. When she first came to me and asked about missing Friday night matches. That was a tough one for me to swallow because she is our court leader, she's a captain. But I knew this was something that she might want to pursue in the future and being a senior, this is what needed to happen for her. It was best for her in the long run. She also gets to be on air in her hometown, something the Lord Bonitat graduate doesn't take for granted. My family has been so supportive. They. I mean, every time in the morning, at night, they text me right after, great job, great job. My family all lives around here, everybody. It's really cool because I see her every day and what she's like, and I know what she can do, but it's cool to watch her kind of interact with everyone else and everyone else can see what she can do. When we go on bus trips the next Saturday morning, they all have it on their phones and they're sharing it with each other if they missed it the night before. And with her volleyball career ending, there's nothing but open road for in front of the camera. Volleyball has to come to an end, and this was such a great opportunity that I couldn't pass it up.